Hey, this is John, and in this video I'm going to show you some experiments with discharges from my high voltage power supply. One of the goals I had when I was designing this spark gap was to achieve really rapid and abrupt discharges. And I had the idea that with a single capacitor charge, I could discharge it through the spark gap several times uh, using air and a magnetic field to blow out the spark. So this is what I came up with to support the magnets on either side of the spark gap. I have two pieces of glass, which are separated by pieces of plastic, and the magnets are on the outside sandwiching the spark gap in the middle. This works really nicely because the glass works as an insulator, preventing the magnets from being used as a conduction path, and there's still plenty of room for airflow. And it's really nice for experimenting because you can see what's going on. So if my understanding is correct, with the magnetic field present and the electric field from the voltage difference between the electrodes, there's a Lorentz force that's perpendicular to both that pushes the charged particles or ionized air, which is why the arc bends away when the magnetic field is present. Here it's running with just one of the magnets, so you can see how the magnetic field affects the spark. Now I'm just going to flip over the magnet so you can see it from the other side. So next I want to show you the effect of air over the spark gap. Uh, I wanted to build something localized that was uh, cheap and uh, would be able to put a good amount of air over the spark gap. So I took a PC fan and just to see if it would work I taped some paper to it and uh, I wanted to see if I could get a higher pressure out of a small hole but it didn't work very well. As you can see here there's barely enough air to, to push these strips of paper but even this little bit of air actually makes a big difference when it comes to the spark gap. So that's the effect of airflow in a magnetic field over the spark gap. But there's still a whole lot of things I want to try, including using a higher pressure airflow, um, using hot air. Uh, I want to have the spark gap in a, in a vacuum, and also in pressurized air. And I want to try using liquids as a dielectric, and even compressed liquids. Um, but for my next video, I'll just hook up a capacitor and show you how those discharges are affected.